Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jim with Jim's Garage Toys. And today I'm going to be installing another uh, one of my matte forged carbon fiber pieces for my GR Corolla. So today we have a small... I had it and then I covered it up. <clears throat> we have the small eight pillar triangle pieces that I'm going to be installing. So these are similar to the fender vents where they have the little clips on the back. So looks like we have to pop the original OEM ones off and then transfer the clips and then clip these back on. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. Always good to have some different uh, trim tools. A lot of times it's just hard to know which one is which angle is the best to come at it. Well, there's one. You get the first one, and it's usually pretty easy. There we go. Uh, got all three clips that came with it. So now, let's go ahead and transform over. So, let's see. I can get these. Snapped on. Oh, that one went on real easy. Two for two. Start to get a little hopeful. Look at that. All three of them. Less than a minute. Amazing. So I went ahead and popped off the driver's side triangle also. Same process as when I took this one off. So I didn't feel like it was worthy of commanding the video for that. Same process. Wasn't sure of the way so many people talked about how hard they were to snap back on. So anyway, so I've got these now. I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat them now so I don't have to worry about it. So first of all, let's go ahead and clean them up. I will start with just, I, I start with something like this. This is just paint prep from Grillo's Garage. Um, I have uh, some of their newer stuff, which is called surface prep. I think it's kind of the same thing, but let's go ahead and we'll just spray a little bit of that on there and wipe it off. So this is going to be the first thing that first step. So I'm actually going to do two levels of this. So this is the this is the first one that I use. This actually is what is the surface prep that actually comes with the R1 coatings, that's the ceramic coating that I use right here. Had really good luck with it. And if I used it on my cars for many years and it's done fantastic. So let's go ahead now and spray some of this on there. This one's almost gone. So put a rag. I mean, even though it looks dry, I'm going to let that kind of 
air dry just for a minute and make sure that it's okay. Here's one of these little applicator pads that they send to you with the ceramic coating. So I'll we'll just do some dabs here, get this nice and wet. The good thing is, is it won't take much because these are small. So let's go ahead and just Normally you would do a crosshatch pattern on your paint, but these are so little that just make sure it's all covered nicely. Okay. So that's the first coat. I normally do two coats of stuff on all my ceramic coating. Now I'm just waiting for it to to kind of flash over. So usually it's a rainbow effect that you'll see with uh, with it and it's uh, about a minute or so. And what you wanna do, the first thing is you're just gonna, you're gonna take two rags and you're gonna level it with the first one. And then you're gonna kind of, uh, second one you'll apply a little bit more pressure just to buff it. So, this is looking pretty good, so I'm just gonna, just a very light pressure, not much at all. And I'm just leveling the ceramic coating, to make sure there's no high or low points on it. This is the second piece we did, and it's got that same look to it now, so we'll just, just a very light. There we go. Now after you do that, take a different cloth. And we can kind of buff a little more pressure just to make sure that it's <clears throat> nice and even looking okay so We'll leave these here. Okay. I am back and through the magic of editing, it was mere seconds. But it's been about an hour and a half in real time. So go ahead and put a quick second coat on these. Those are nice and protected. So now all they need to do is cure. And I'll let them cure on the car. So let's go ahead and come walk over to this place. And let's snap this in. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> that looks fantastic. And it kind of helps complement the fender vents there too. Although that was filthy down there. <laughs> That's probably some of the dirtiest I've, that my car's been. Just simply from all the snow and rain and the last time I was out driving it was kind of slushy and a lot of dirt in it so need to give it a, a quick bath to get all the junk off of it so but anyway I hope that helped anybody interested in doing this I just sure appreciate if you would 
subscribe and like and help me continue to grow the channel. I appreciate all of you that continue to support me. And until the next time that I do something, another mod or whatnot. So hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you down the road.